again continuing to answer questions from the questions and comments video. And today we're going to look at uh, two viewers' questions. The first one, uh, I think, will be hopefully be a simple question: Is did you ever uh, think of getting a LPI certification and working as a sysadmin or something in the field? I think you would do quite a good job with some training in specific areas. Um, well, thank you for the compliment. And um, as far as getting certified, no, I, I doubt I would do that I, unless I really needed to. Um, would I want to work as a sysadmin somewhere? And this is something I've thought about a lot. Um, and besides a short period of my life in my early 20s, I really never wanted to do computer work for a living, at least not for other people. Um, so I love computers, and if I did it for work, I think I would love them less. Um, I also feel, especially now, uh, I am very strong about open source and anything I do to be open source. So as far as a sysadmin, that's something I could do if I was working uh, solely on Linux machines, because even though I know how Windows machines work, I wouldn't want to work on one. I would you know, find it aggravating. Um, but sysadmin, uh, I think, is something I could do. I've kind of been offered jobs here and there for that, but it's not really something I want to do, at least not at this point in my life. Outside of, like, a sysadmin, uh, I, I really like writing little programs and stuff, and I've thought a number of times about um, maybe doing software for small businesses, um, just, you know, to keep tra track of customers and sales. Um, you know, I work for the fire department, and I would love to do a bunch of firefighting software to keep track of training uh, hours, you know, uh, shift stuff. And um, that would be something I would definitely be able to do because it would be easy for me to do on my own. I could uh, easily write the software open source and still make some good money because basically, you know, let's say you're a small business and you need something to keep track of your customers. I could write you software specific to what you're doing so it's designed exactly for what you're doing. And it doesn't matter to you whether it's open source or not, and I would make it clear that I am writing the software for you, but I still own the software, and I would release it under a GPL license, which would protect me and the end user. Um, and I could still go into another company, maybe in a similar work field, and modify it for them, and I would be charging them for my services. Um, I do see, and I know this isn't a question asked directly here, I do see um, a lot of people ask, oh, how do people make money with open source? And people do it all the time. It's, it's, it's a very simple concept. It, it's just hard for people to grasp sometimes, I, get, I guess. Um, and uh, basically, you look at it like any other job. Let's say you're a carpenter, just as a simple example, and someone needs a chair. You build them a chair, and they pay you for your services and the product. Those are two things. Um, now, you don't go, well, you have to pay me for every person who sits in that seat. No. You do the job. You get paid for your work, your time, and the product. And then you move on. You want to make more money, you go and build another seat, another chair. Uh, same way with software, except for you don't have the product. Uh, no matter how much people push to try to say software is a product, it's not. Now, you can put it on a CD and sell a CD, but the software itself is not a product. So, once again, a company needs a software written. I write the software for them. It shouldn't matter to them that it's open source. I mean, unless they're promoting it, they shouldn't. there's no negative effect to them that it's open source. Uh, it just benefits them because it gives them freedom to modify it down the line. Um, and they pay me for my time, for my service. But luckily, since it's open source, I still am the creator of that software. I still have rights to it, and I can go use it elsewhere. Where if I work for a company that produces software and they're not an open source company, I lose rights to my work. You know, it's like I created this. And I should be able to use it in the future, as well as, well as other people use it. So this concept, I don't know why, why people think it's all right to 
uh, sell licenses for software. It's like you spend a certain amount of time on software, you should get paid for your time, just like any other service out there. So that is my view on that. And so if I was ever to get into um, some sort of computer work as a business, um, I would definitely work for myself. And uh, I mean, there'd be a possibility, maybe once again, sysadmin, but I think I would really rather work for myself and do software for businesses that's open source. Anybody else can be free to come and take that software and use it for their businesses. But in most cases, people need someone to set the software up for them, and that's where I would come in with my services. If somebody else wants to provide the service of setting up that software, go right ahead. It's free and open source. There's plenty of business to go around. There's plenty of businesses for us to set the software for. So there's really the whole concept, once again, of, of if you make the only way you can make money is with proprietary software kind of one is false because you look at all the people who make a living making open source software and just the basic concept in general it's, it's like saying well if you're a carpenter you should be able to make only one chair in your life and just charge people the rest of your life for sitting in it it's just kind of a silly thought so anyway thank you for that question uh might have went off on a little bit then outside of the area of your exact question, but I hope that I answered it. I thank you for watching and I hope that you have a great day.